first shot out of charge. Is there anything that's made you apprehensive before Sunday? No, not really. No. Um, um, well, as a club and a playing group, coaching group, we're really looking forward to it. So it was uh, it was good to get the um, game against West Coast uh, under our belt and um, opportunity to move on. So uh, this week's been as normal as it normally is, and, and a big build up to the game. So we're looking forward to it. No nerves for you first. No, 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 not yet. I'm sure there'll be a few before the balls bounce, but. Uh, no, no worries. Just take through a few selections you've got. Oh, they're no issues, but that's just the reality of footy. Um, look, Nathan is coming off a long term injury, he's missed a lot of footy, so there is um, you know, over my time there is sometimes issues with some consistency, getting back into form. I mean twelve months out of the game is a long time, so um, even by his own admission, he's not playing the way that he would like to play and, and he's just going to go back and um, play SANFL. He's got a couple of things in really clear focuses that he's going to work on and you know his leadership's been outstanding through this whole period and, and through the whole year and, and he's going to be really valuable for us um, in the weeks coming, that's for sure. Scott, are you confident he can get back to that level? Yeah, no, I can, Tommy. I mean, some of his stuff that he's done has been really good, but it's just more the consistency of it that we need more of from him. What are those focuses that he's been back with? Oh, that's for me and him to discuss there, Harry. So he's got a future down the track still? Oh, absolutely. And he, no, he's really important to our, our make-up. But, um, you know, unfortunately in this industry, you've got to be able to hold your spot in the team and, and produce... produce Consistency of your form and effort. Um, but his effort's been outstanding. Never take that away from him. But we just need more from him, you know, in that two hours. How's he taken the news? Oh, look, VB's a pro. You know, um, he's obviously disappointed with the way he's playing. Hence why he's gone back. But he's a real competitor, VB, and and he'll take this opportunity to get himself back in the form. And Cam Ellis, yeah, look, Cam is a hard one. Um, I'm really pleased with Cam. He's come a long way, Cam. I think he's going to be a really important player for us. Um, and he's showed so far this year that he can actually play at the level. Um, with Cam, it was um, more that he's played two quarters of footy in three weeks. So it's one of those difficult ones where we just got to make sure that they're up to game time. So he played a quarter against Brisbane, missed the Geelong game, and then a quarter against West Coast. So um, we just need him to get back into some continuity, and he'll be back in pretty quickly. What about Pods? Where's he at? Uh, Pods is um, look. He's been back, obviously, from his um, back injury, and he's played really well at SNFL level. He's a real target forward for us, so um, he deserves to be in there. And, and Sam Shaw's come back from, you know, a real long-term injury. And and speaking to Sammy and seeing the way he's training and playing, he's in r a real good headspace. So it's a great reward for him. Is he one of those players, Sam? He has had that chronic hamstring problem. Um, just be confident. Yeah, I can, Tommy. You know, even speaking to him, he, he feels as confident as he's ever been in his body, which is a great sign for us and, and, and him. Really difficult week last week. I mean, what you went through would have just been incredibly tough, I'm sure. Um, you, you spoke about how much you now, as much as you can, looking forward to leaving that behind you and moving on to it, just playing the footy. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, that, that that's the cold light of day, you know, in this industry. There's always next week and, um, you know, we love Phil, we'll miss him, but at the end of the day, we've still got to win games of footy and earn the right to play finals. So that's what we're going after. We've put good foundations in place and we won't deviate from that. So you can't say which of those players are into the, into the team yet, obviously. Um, <laughs> Drew Rackett's a chance to play, or his form's been good in the NFL. Yeah, well, he's another great story. I mean, he got injured early in the year with a knee and really struggled, but. He's done a lot of work with Richard Douglas, you know, off field and, and the way he trains and the way he attacks uh, the game and, and he's earned his right in that spot as well. So he brings something a little bit different, left foot, you know, speed, change of lanes, you know, in terms of his kick and, and he's just a great kid and he deserves his opportunity if he gets there. Where do you see Sam Shaw playing? I mean, he can play No, he's pretty flexible, Harry. So we've played him, you know, Back in 2012, when we were playing really well, he was a real key in our back line. Um, he can play on smalls, he can play on tools. Um, he's quick um, and can kick the ball. So, But we have used him forward at times as well. He can actually mark the ball. So he, he's one that 
we're looking in the back half of the year to have some flexibility along with Andy Otten coming back as well. So it must be incredibly tough. What's the mindset of the playing group going into this game? Oh, just to get the job done, mate, to be quite honest. They're really focused in. Their training's been unbelievable, really, the last you know um, two sessions, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, even after the memorial, which was great for the players, they came in a really good headspace on Thursday, really attacked training, and you know it's going to be a fierce contest, and that's the way it should be. Focus on denying Port the corridor, slowing them down? Ah, oh, well, slowing them down in general. I mean, Port, obviously, even last week, if you give them a sniff, you know, and let them run and carry and play on, you know, that's their game style. Um, well documented, so that, that'll be our task to try and slow them down and counter punch them on the way back. Has everyone Oh, no, I think we've had that discussion already, um, you know, previously. So this week was about getting back to normality and focusing in on what we need to do this week. So um, they're in a great headspace. They're really looking forward to the game. Um, they're really galvanised and they're up for a fierce contest on the weekend, that's for sure. That's great, Tom. You like being the underdog? So, where will, where will this game be when it lost, Scott? Ah, oh, look, it's it's. If we allow Port to play that they want to play, it's going to be a long day for us. So, um, you know, I think if we went back last time we played and we had 70 entries but just couldn't score, so, you know, that'll be the challenge for us to get it in there. L that wasn't. Uh, a key last week, we only had 36 entries, so that's probably not going to win your games of footy. So um, it'll be our attack versus their attack, and and how we defend versus they defend. And obviously, a midfield, the midfield battle is going to be critical um, this week. Last time Scott, you played them, you guys dominated possession and dominated inside 50s, but couldn't get the job done. We sort of learned from that year earlier in the year. What did you look to change to sort of capitalise on that? Oh, well, obviously hitting the scoreboard. I mean, scoreboard press is the obvious one in AFL footy. If you can, if you can get it through those big sticks, that makes a massive difference to one what the opposition mentality is, and and also your players' mentality. So, um, I'd like to think if we get that many entries again, that uh, we can get it done. Next talk about Nat and Lewis for getting on top um, in the game earlier in the week. Uh, have you sort of worked out how to better combat? Athleticism, you know, with his athleticism. Have you worked out how to combat that? Yeah, well, I mean, they're two different beasts. Um, <laughs> that new is a unique character, but uh, we can't dwell on last week. That's last week. But what we can do is, I know that Sam Jacobs is a competitive beast, and he won't want to um, allow Ports to Rutlands to dominate us like West Coast did last week around the ground. And he'll want to give us first use, um, and we'll back our midfield when he gets his. So you just leave it Oh, well, him and Doc Clark's obviously the ruck coach, so they'll, I'm sure they'll have something ready to go. With Bob Downing going um, into the side, do you think you can sort of stretch Paul's defence down there, especially with Carlisle still on the sideline? Oh, well, yeah, we'll wait and see. I mean, that, that depends on what happens through the midfield, whether we can get it in there quick enough to actually stretch them. I mean, if we if we go in slow and, and steady, then Paul will roll their numbers back. But if we can get it in there quick and make their defenders defend one-on-one, -on -one, I think there's an opportunity there, yeah. Scott, you spoke about coming down unbelievably good this week. How are we able to turn the best switch? Obviously, last week was incredibly tough. And how are we able to do that? Oh, it's really about fundamentals. Yeah. Like, the players understand what needs to be done and they understand the elite standards that needs to happen to play at this game and at the level. So if you come in and think that you're going to train at a certain level that's under an AFL standard, then you've got no hope. So we're really driven as a group and as a footy club and a coaching group, and the leaders have been outstanding in driving training to the level that it needs to be. So um, we're well prepared, we're ready to go. Last couple of um, So there's potential for, as we said, a second day. I'll reward form. So if he's a first game and he deserves to play, he'll play. Personally, you 
Yeah, well, that's that's been a real big thing for myself coming in. I mean, with what's happened, there's been a lot of cloudiness, I guess, and and we have to get the game's hard enough as it is without having you know side issues. So the challenge for us as a coaching group is to take a step back and re reinforce what we went after and make it really clear. And that's what you know we've done the last two weeks. And our, as I said, the training's reflected that and I reckon there's a renewed refreshness about how we're going to play again.